welcome back to Win Madden. Today, we are going to show you the glitchiest play in Madden 22. It's not even close. Nobody's going to be able to play man defense against you. And this is one of the things that has been on winmadden.com for a number of weeks now. And it was on the premium tip section. But I've started to see some leaks of it into the community. So I definitely want to show it with uh, you know, kind of a complete concept and walkthrough of what it does, how you can utilize it, and a little bit of how to defend it as well. So if you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you love tips like this. And like always, let's jump into it. Now I'm going to walk through what is easily, and I mean easily, the most glitchy play in Madden 22. If you're not familiar with this, this is going to absolutely change the way that you're playing Madden. And this is a tip that is on winmadden.com. It's in the premium tips section. But I've started to see some YouTubers not only kind of hint at this, but a couple of them have actually come out and shown the glitch as well. So I want everybody who follows and subscribes to this YouTube channel to know about it also. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on a couple things very specifically here. But I'm going to show you how this play is kind of glitchy. And then I'm going to show you just how it completely breaks the game. So with that, let's jump into this. The very first thing you need to know, though, the play that we're going to talk about is only in three different playbooks. And the first one is my favorite. It's the San Francisco 49ers offensive playbook. We do have an ebook on this on winmadden.com. Definitely go check it out. Um, and then the two other playbooks that you can find this play in are the Cincinnati Bengals and the New York Jets. So that is very important. There's only three play playbooks that have this play. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out in the offensive formation bunch te now this is the single back version of it this is not gun bunch te this is bunch te under center now the play we're going to be looking at the first thing is you can see there's only six plays in this entire formation but the only play you need is stretch alert bubble and it is the best play in the game so you might be thinking it's a run play it's a run play i don't want to run play guys it is not only a run play, it does everything. So just bear with me, trust me on this just for a couple minutes. So stretch alert bubble. On defense, I'm gonna show how this breaks man coverage first, and then I'm gonna kind of just show what you can do against this, maybe to slow it down, but let's get into it. So we'll come out in man. Now, the first thing you need to know about this play is just on itself, it's actually not a bad stock play. Um, it has an actually pretty good stretch and it's got a pretty good bubble screen as well both of them just work on its own you can run this play stock so for example you can just run a stretch if you want to cut it up the middle again we're in practice mode so we're not going to get great runs here but you're going to get the idea it does work additionally uh if they let's say they're in cover three or something like that let's just put them in a cover three um you know you can run a bubble screen pretty easily with this too right okay they're over committing that way let's throw the bubble screen you're going to notice that you get pretty good room and it is one of the better bubble screens in the game also all right so that's just a good part of the play let's talk about the first thing about this play that makes it glitchy again not the important one but still something to consider the next thing about this play this is the only stretch alert in the game that you can actually flip the run and i didn't flip the entire play i just flipped the run and now i can run the stretch towards the bubble screen side so let's just show this here again they're in man defense, so they're in pretty good run defense for this, but you get the idea. Um, you can run this either side without flipping the formation. Now, the other thing about this is you can actually flip the run and you can still throw the bubble screen as well. If you want to do something like this, you can do that. You know, do a spin move, get up the field. It is it is overpowered from that sense as well. Um, one other thing with this is if you want to flip the run, and you want to motion one of the receivers over, you can do that too. Let's motion over Scantling. Look at that. We can still run this ball or we can throw the bubble screen and we're gonna get big yards. So a, a, a pretty good play just from that standpoint, but that's not game breaking, right? That's not something that you're gonna be like, I need to add this to my game plan no matter what. Now, what we're gonna cover now is where it starts to get crazy. It gets even worse, but this is where it's gonna to start to get crazy. So the first thing I wanna show you, I wanna play a game with you here. And I'm gonna show you the defensive alignment, and I'm gonna give you a couple seconds to take a look at it, and I want you to spy what's wrong with the defensive alignment here. All right, so here you go. 
Take a look at that. I'll give you a couple seconds. All right, if you spotted it, you have a keen eye for problems with your defensive formation. If you didn't, well, let's go along for the ride here. Look who's not manned up. The running back is not manned up by anybody, and he is supposed to be manned up. In fact, the guy who's in a QB spy right here is supposed to be manned up with the running back. Well, let me just show you if I actually highlight this guy, which I am doing right now, and I select A, I hit up on the right stick for man coverage, and I'm going to try to man him up to the running back. Notice the running back doesn't even have an icon. I cannot even man him up to the running back if I wanted to. He has no icon on him. That's a problem. So let's let's just take a look at that because we, we still can't throw the ball out of this play. But what if we audible to a different play in this formation? What happens then? So if we come out, I just accidentally flipped it. But if we come out in this stretch alert play, stretch alert bubble, and we audible to, let's say, cross drag. Let's take a look at the defense now. Hmm. It looks like nobody's manned up with him still, right? In fact, two people are manned up on 13. Okay, well, what if I try to take this guy and man him up to Aaron Jones? So now his icon is there because we're actually in a pass play. Let's see what happens. Though. I'm going to hit RB. I'm just going to show you I'm hitting RB here. So he should be manned up. You're going to notice that he's no longer manned up on 13, and he's just not manned up on anybody. And I'm going to take my icon off him. I'm going to show you what happens if we run this play. And let's put RB on like a swing route to the left. And let's streak A just to make sure he's not running in the same direction. Let's see if anybody runs with RB. Nobody. He's all alone over there. Nobody guards RB at all. Even though we manually manned up somebody on him, nobody guarded him. Okay. Well, let's show this again. So, all right. Let's go to cross drag again. So again, we've now audible to the play cross drag. Let's put the running back on a streak route. Let's even motion the running back out. Nobody even goes with him. Like nobody went out there at all. Let's snap this ball. Cause again, nobody's on him on defense at all. Nobody's on him. Let's snap it. Nobody guards him. They leave him completely alone. We've got an easy walk in touchdown. Okay. Well, what if we do that same thing? We audible to cross drag or stick. It doesn't matter. We can go to stick. Sure, let's go to stick. Let's put RB on a streak route again. Let's motion him out. And let's let's say, you know what? No, we, we can't let this happen again. Let's take this guy. Let's put him right in front of Aaron Jones. Let's man him up, right? Same thing. We're going to hit RB. That should be the, the man up key. We're going to use her in the middle of the field. And let's see if he guards him. Still doesn't guard him. Walk in touchdown. Super, super annoying and glitchy. You cannot man this guy up. You can't do it. He is not going to ever get manned up. That's a big, big problem. Well, the other big problem with this is obviously this has a tell, right? Like if I go to cross drag, oops, wrong controller. If I go to cross drag, and you know i motion this guy out right all right i just know as a user i just need to go guard this right like i will just manually go guard this and we'll take this away and you know it'll just be user right we'll take it away well that, that, it's also we know they're passing right and the running back goes out there and we got to follow him but we're able to make it work well what if we could do something completely different we can completely keep our opponent off guard well here's something really unique about this also what if we were to come out in this play again we're going to come out in stretch alert bubble and we're going to audible to any other formation in the playbook so let's go to single back bunch for example let's go to verticals okay so there we go let's put the running back on like a out route to the left let's take a look at our defense still nobody manned up on the running back so even if we change formations now the running back doesn't get manned up 
Essentially what that means is if you come out in this play, they cannot possibly man up that running back no matter what play you audible to in any formation after coming out in it. Now the San Francisco 49ers have a very unique thing about their playbook. They have a formation that is called Gun Empty Base Flex. Now this is very unique because if you audible to any play out of here, let's go to Verticals Under for example, look where the running back goes. He goes all the way to the outside. They can't man him up. It's very hard to go user anybody out there. And you're gonna have easy walk-in touchdowns against man coverage multiple times a game. If you are playing an opponent that is running any type of man coverage, they're gonna have to go manually use that if they wanna stay in man. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself now, all right, this is very glitchy. Uh, how do I slow this down? What do I need to do on defense? Well, you need to play zone is the answer. And what makes that difficult about this formation and you know what you're going about in here is if you're running mostly zone coverage, like now this stretch alert is very, very good, right? Especially if I flip it this way, like now this is a real problem because the run play is really good. I can also audible to, uh, like we talked about before, if we run a cover three here, I can audible to verticals in single back bunch which is a very, very good play in its own right. Or if we just you know, run something like this, this is very good. You get the tight end here, boom, just dominates zone coverage right there. The running back is also very difficult to deal with. Like this is an incredibly, incredibly difficult play to scheme against and play defense against in general. But this is an example of the premium tips on winmadden.com. So if you want to become a member, definitely go check it out, but absolutely implement this into your game and if you're not going to use it which i can completely respect at least try to familiar your familiarize yourself with how it works so you can defend it when inevitably somebody starts running against you so if you're new to the channel like comment subscribe hit that notification bell for when we drop new videos like always till next time win madden